Do you want me to get that on video? I don't care. Mr. Vane. Okay, we get it. You have muscles. Sweaty. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just a lotion. Oh, Thanks great. Now you're sweaty and covered mm -hmm. in lotion. I don't want to touch it. Hello and welcome back, everyone, to another episode of what are we calling this? In the kitchen or the sexy tablespoon? In the sexy tablespoon. <laughs> Pretty. Welcome back to the sexy tablespoon. So today we decided to make vegan nachos, and I'm gonna make kind of like a faux meat ground beef mixture using lentils. Are we excited? And I got you some chips. Ooh. Well, you're not having chips. No, I don't think I'm gonna have chips this time. I'm trying to stay away from the processed food and I already had like young coconut and stuff today So I've already had quite a bit of fat So I'm gonna avoid the chips and instead I'm gonna make myself nachos using collard greens Which is gonna be great first thing you want to do is get your brown rice started I'm using short grain brown rice because that is what I prefer and because it is cheaper and we buy it in bulk for a 15% discount so I'm gonna make this uh, spiced rice. And I have my spices here. I have some whole cumin seed. You don't have to grind up the cumin when you're cooking it in the rice. I also have some smoked paprika, some granulated garlic, granulated roasted garlic, and granulated onion pieces. And a tiny little pinch of cayenne, since it's just us, no kids, we can make it Spicy. Also going to throw a few cloves of garlic, just whole, into the rice. That'll give it a little bit more flavor. And did you know this? That apparently cooking garlic with grains increases zinc absorption. I don't know if that's true for other minerals. I'm kind of curious. So I have two and a half of these size cups, which is probably like the equivalent of six to eight cups of rice in here. I don't know. <laughs> we have big appetites. So I'm gonna get this on and then I'm going to steam some of these purple sweet taters on top. Your mise en place for this recipe. We're going to make some guacamole. So we have avocados, garlic, some salt, and a lime. Levi thinks he's gonna be using a tomato, but he's not. The tomato, we're gonna make some fresh salsa, some red onions back there, and then I don't have any cilantro, so I have this. It's an herb that tastes just like cilantro. It's called like cilantrain or something. And then for the fake meat lentil mixture, I'm gonna use eggplant, garlic, onions, some oyster mushrooms from the Hamakua mushroom farm, which are ridiculously chewy. <laughs> so I'm gonna chop these up pretty fine so that they'll be palatable. And then I made some beans last week, froze a bunch, so these are black beans. If you guys want the recipe, you're gonna have to check out that video. I'll try to put it in the um, info box square up there. And then I have some spices that I'm gonna be using in the lentil meat mixture, I have whole cumin and whole coriander seeds that I'm obviously going to grind before I put it in there. You'll also need some Bragg's liquid aminos. And I was going to specifically cook some lentils for this, but we had this lentil and brown rice mixture from yesterday and I just wanna finish that off. To make the lentils, I just cook them in a rice pot. Like if you add them to rice, like this, like brown rice, you add in the normal amount of water for your brown rice. So for every one cup of rice, you add one and a half cups of water for the rice. And then for the lentils, if I add one cup of lentils, I add one cup of extra water. And that always cooks up just fine. Otherwise you can cook them on the stove. They don't take too long. And um, one to one and a half cups of water per cup of lentils. And then you can always top them off if you need. So I'm just gonna cook off these onions and the garlic. I'll probably add in these spices once the onions start to turn a little bit translucent, at which point I will also put in the mushrooms. It'll probably be too much to fit in my pan, but that has never stopped me before. Here, cover the bottom. Cover the bottom completely with the onions, yeah, like that. And then that'll create a little bit of moisture all around the pan that'll help to keep it from sticking. Are well, you trying to caramelize these onions? Yeah, we want them to caramelize. We want the flavor and the sugars to develop a little bit so that you get that nice, rich, meaty taste. Mm -hmm. Love the smell of this. I wish you could smell this fresh coriander seed. And cumin. 
Mm. And you could easily just mix up what spices you put in here and make awesome. this like a meat sauce for um, for spaghetti or something like that. Okay, let me guess what's in here. Coriander? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cumin? Yes. Oh, rad. I see some, oh, that must, I think that's a coriander. A anything else? How much more stuff, it, how much more ingredients are in here? None. That was it? Mm -hmm. so why did you have me keep thinking? Because you're cute when you think. All right, so those onions are starting to go translucent and we're getting some nice browning, especially the garlic. You don't want, you don't want the garlic to get too burned, otherwise it tastes bitter. So now is a good time to do a little splash of water. Like that's it. Now stir it around. And you see all those caramelized sugars come up off the pan. And once that's mostly evaporated, we'll start to put in the mushrooms. Then you gotta push this this way so I can see myself do this. This joke. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What? I just wanted to do that. Well, do it then. Levi is using his giant manly muscles to put the oyster mushrooms into the pan. So since we're doing this without oil and since I've overloaded the pan, the worry is that it's gonna get waterlogged and gross. So I take care of that by leaving little gaps in the pan now. See all that evaporation that's happening around the edges of the gaps? Mm. It's important when you're cooking wet vegetables like zucchini, mushrooms, eggplant, onions, they all have a tendency to sweat. When the pan is super dry, you don't want gaps. When the pan starts to get wet from all the moisture, from your veggies leaking out into it, then you wanna leave some gaps for that moisture to evaporate. Okay, I'm gonna add in the spices now. Now the spices are gonna dry up that pan quite a bit. So we'll probably switch back to full pan oh. coverage. You don't need water? We will, maybe, possibly. Ooh, and the spices are gonna get so aromatic with the heat. All right, the eggplant is added in, and indeed the spices dried up that pan a lot. So I had to add in a little bit of water and a little splash of Bragg's liquid aminos. Give it some salty depth. And now I'm going to cover this and let it cook down for a little bit. Guacamole! People care what's on the chopping board. They're learning how to cook from this. For real? For all. People actually learn from our cooking videos? For real! Yeah. No way. People be learning. Guacamole, of course avocados, a couple of garlics, some lime, onions, and one tomato. Oh, and salt. Okay, so one of my tricks that I like to do is if I'm using three avocados, yeah, or if I'm using two or... I like to start off with two first, up and down the center like this. So I like to save one avocado on the, on the side to the end because after all the mixing, these guys, they uh, smush up a little bit. And I like my, uh, uh, my uh, guacamole kind of chunky, so I put that one in later at the very end. That's why you're my baby. These onions in here. A little bit of onions in there. I mean, I'm okay with chunky garlic in the salsa, but I mean in the guacamole, but other people aren't. Other people being me. Okay, so this is the trick now. So I have my minced garlic, right? And I go ahead and I put a little bit of salt on there, okay? Maybe about that much salt, I don't know. Okay, and then now I turn my blade on the side like this, right? And then I push down. So I come, kind of like breaking the flavor of the garlic into the grains of the salt and vice versa. Yeah. Mm. Who taught you this trick? Uh, I don't know, you know, you just keep my eyes open, you learn something. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> and you slip her in. You cut your lime, right? Oh, I hate it when you cut the lime that direction. Why? It drives me nuts. Squeeze just a little bit. Oh, you got some squeezers on you. Yeah, just put in the whole half in there. Okay, so now that you got that mixed up, we're gonna cut up our last avocado. Kind of about like, like that, almost. I like to put a tomato in there. I know it's not traditional, but 
So the eggplant is pretty much tender. You can see I got a little, some uh, extra caramelized, essentially burned bits on the bottom. That's fine. Once this starts to cool off, it'll release from the pan. I am not worried about it. And then I'm gonna add in the lentil and brown rice mixture. Again, if you didn't cook this with brown rice, if you just cooked lentils, just add the lentils. And I'll just break this up, mix it in with the veggies, give it a taste, make sure there's enough salt in there. If not, add a little bit more Bragg's. You try a little bit? Yeah. I'll give you a little bit of everything. Okay. Ready? It's really good, baby. What? Mm -hmm. It's definitely not the best I've ever made. Well, that's the avocado's fault. It's kind of a funny texture. But that's okay. that's avocados in Hawaii. You never really know what you're going to get. <laughs> you really don't, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's really good, honey. It's not too bad, yeah? Nice job. Do you want to taste mine? Yeah. What the fuck is this? Okay. That's gonna taste really good on the nachos, dude. I'm generally not a fan of like super brown food. <laughs> just, just like brown is so brown. But that is some really yummy brown food. Chocolate is brown. And you're brown. Speck. Ow! This Wheat. is brown? Oh, oh you don't God. want this? It gave me such a stomach ache, but I'm gonna eat it again. <laughs> it's vegan, gluten free chocolate cake. It's gonna suck on the spoon for a while. It's food. Okay, now I'm gonna cut up the veggies for the fresh salsa. Maybe a shoulder rub? Mm, I don't say no to a shoulder rub. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm a naughty person. A little bit of a vain bird. Huh? Am I? A little bit. Uh, can I get some kisses too? Oh, I love you so much, Petunia. I'm just gonna have a couple. I'm just gonna have a couple chips. Some of that. Hey, fuck! Oh, babe! I put my finger. Good, you deserve to bite your finger. That was so rude. I'm making my pico salsa. I'm sorry. Don't do it again. I'm not. I see you plotting. My pico de gallo salsa, red onion, garlic. I like to add some red pepper, cause, you know, nutrients. Some of that cilantro taste and stuff. Tomatoes, lime juice. Let me see those squeezers. Oh my god, babe. Squeezers. Ah! Oh. Ah! It's in my eye! Are you okay? Ah! Uh, Water. It's right. It's right. Ah! Uh. <laughs> you! Ah! <laughs> I got it at least. I couldn't touch you in my hands, they are full of lime. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Should I mix this guy? Well, I have to reapply my mascara. Shall we mix her? Yeah. You squirted lime juice in my eye. You were the one acting like I was, like you were that stripper slash welder from... What's the name of that movie? Flashdance. Yeah, that's... Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> so here's a fun fact. If you put nutritional yeast on top of some of this uh, blue corn chips, it tastes exactly like a Dorito. They really cannot go wrong with nutritional yeast. I mean, you can because you can give yourself niacin poisoning. Well, who can eat that much? Which I did. I tried to make soup with it. <laughs> it's terrible. guacamole all Don't over worry the about it. I don't trust you anymore. Let me slap you with that. No, let me slap you with that thing. Fine. No, I wouldn't do that. It hurts. Do it. Doesn't... It doesn't hurt. You're doing it at like quarter speed. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, because you're blocking and tensing up your face to make... Like closing your eye too. Open your eye and do it. 
you doing? Yeah, just hurry up. I'm hungry. Can you stop eating? I'm trying to do this. The last one, okay? Wait for me. <laughs> I see you. I just have one, two, one, baby. Yum, yum, yum. Here you go. Maybe. Okay. This guy. Okay, it's dinner time. We are having some vegan nachos. Tart. Take a shot. Pew. Petunia, please. Pet get a grip. Is she trying to eat her own tail again? These <laughs> petunias. Roller of all dead stuff. <laughs> Mm. And then you don't have to flip. I think it might be a little bit better on the mechanism, but that could just be like the OCD that I'm prone to flaring up. Take after your dad, don't you? No, that's what I'm eating today. Oh, that's why we still gotta eat dinner. I don't know, dude. I, I'm, I, I don't know. This is good shit though. <laughs> 